guys, this is Tina here and today I'm gonna talk to you about the iPhone 5. We'll have a little review and then I will explain to you uh, the differences between the iPhone 5 and maybe other devices like the Galaxy Note 2. So if we take a look on the outside, we can see the 4-inch display bigger than the older iPhones. We have Gorilla Glass on the display. We have the, the display is made of Gorilla Glass and we have the overall structure made of aluminum and it's it's really a great improvement of Apple to pass from the glass back to the aluminum. It's more elegant and I think uh, I like it better. Then returning to the screen we have an 1136 by 640 resolution so it's not a, an HD or a full HD uh, but however with this Retina technology by Apple that is nothing strange but allows to have a great definition on the of the display. Then we have the iPhone 5 is LTE ready so uh, this is a, a good feature if your uh, leaving zone is covered by the LTE uh, and it's we can say it's pretty much lightweight, it's very light for the the kind of phone it is and it's lighter than the older version. So talking about the performances, we have an A6 dual core CPU, 1.2 GHz and 1 GB of RAM. So um, if we compare the iPhone 5 to the Galaxy Note 2, this iPhone 5 has really um, lower specs than the Note 2. The operative system is the iOS 6 in this specific device is 6.1.3 the latest um, upgrade and if we talk about the battery life always compared to the Galaxy Note 2 this lasts um, just a day so 20-24 hours so the battery life is better than the old iPhone 4S or iPhone 4 but it's nothing compared to the battery life of the Galaxy Note 2 that stands up about 50 hours of um, intense use and it's really another planet with the 3100 mAh so this iPhone 5 has a 1.2 megapixel camera on the front an 8 megapixel camera on the back that takes 1080p videos and really great pictures. So the only problem, if you want to call it like this, is that the pictures are 4 by 3 instead of 16 by 9. But uh, however, they are really great, really, really way better than the phone you can take with the Galaxy Note 2 because the camera is totally another planet, another level. Taking a look on the operative system, we have an iOS 6 right now and you can see it really smooth, you can open anything you want really fast, you have the uh, notification bar that scrolls down like on Android so and it's it's iOS it's always the same with little improvement like you know the possibility to share things with the Facebook apps right now and just to save images from Facebook and this is something you cannot do with the Facebook app on Android so if we compare the two operative system because I'm coming from a Galaxy Note 2 uh, and I pass to the iPhone 5 uh, if I have to compare the two phones, I can score a point for Apple because the iPhone 5 is less powerful than the Galaxy Note 2, but however it's smoother and it's faster. Not so much at the beginning when you get the two phones brand new, but after a month or two of using the phone, when you start downloading apps, uh, um, uninstalling apps and fill it up with photos, audio, music, videos, then the Galaxy Note 2 start to um, slow down faster than the iPhone 5. Uh, like always, Apple can develop really better his product and his operative system with the product. So they are really um, developed and tested together to reach um, a great 
level of performances that you cannot reach so easily on Android that it's heavier than iOS and you, you need a really more powerful devices to run Android smoother than iOS and however after some time of usage Android gets dirty I can say and it starts to slow down really way faster than iOS so this is a point for the iPhone 5 but uh, at an overall look we can distinguish the two different phones so the iPhone 5 is for a certain um, consumer and the new 2 is for another kind of consumer so you are one of that you need a, a beautiful phone really well made with a great camera with um, a good battery life but not great battery life you want a portable device not so big that you can use with one end and you want a, a great operative system that doesn't allow you to make a lot of change but you know you can personalize pretty much the the device so like I did on the iPhone and so you probably would go with the iPhone 5 this device never lets you down if this is what you're looking for uh, instead if you are like me more uh, a modder uh, you like to benchmark your phone to personalize it more change the ROM uh, root the phone so you're looking maybe for a bigger screen a replaceable battery and that is a great feature that you don't have on the iPhone you can replace the battery if you're looking for a great battery life for an HD display and maybe you will go for the Galaxy Note 2 so I just sold the Galaxy Note 2 to pass to the iPhone 5 and after a month of usage I'm coming back to the Galaxy Note 2 to keep it definitely for quite a long time this is just because I need something different than the iPhone 5. Not that I don't like, I really like it. It's really smoother, it's faster even after a month than the Galaxy Note 2. And then I don't have to do anything on this. It's smooth and fast on itself. I don't have to clean it up, remove apps from the RAM. Uh, it's, it's him. It's just great as it is. But I like to... Um, do anything with my device to pass the time to uh, read ebooks and the screen the foreign screen is really too small for my needs I need most uh, a 5.5 I need more a 5.5 inch screen so I will go back to the Galaxy Note 2 but you have to, to distinguish you are the iPhone user or the uh, Galaxy Note 2 user. With the iPhone 5 or with the Galaxy Note 2 you will not be disappointed. You just have to, to choose wisely the one who fits your needs. So personally if I should say what will be the perfect smartphone for me I really would like a mashup between the iPhone 5 and the Galaxy Note 2 so the overall bit quality of the iPhone 5 and the big screen of the Galaxy Note 2 the removal battery of the Galaxy Note 2 and the great camera on the iPhone 5 and the system must be light and fast as Apple or maybe faster like Windows Phone you know Windows Phone um, is really way better than iOS and Android in terms of fastness and lightness but however nowadays there is no such thing so I will sell the iPhone 5 back and get the Galaxy Note 2 and guys choose wisely maybe let's go to a store and try them to have an overall idea about iOS and Android and if you like the video rate it, like it and subscribe this really helps the channel to move on and see you next time with another review.